this morning I got up and I decided to take myself on a little bikey poos ride down the Thames. I've not been down this route before and I thought I'm just going to take the little cycle ride down from Osney Lock down to Ifney Lock. I would imagine it's only two or three miles. But it's quite a pleasant journey. The path's nice and flat and it was dry but it was overcast but it was cold my hands were cold despite wearing gloves it's a very pleasant little ride bought this push bike for about 25 30 quid just shows you that you can still enjoy bike riding very very cheap and it's it's a, such a good bike it's so comfortable it's got front suspension it's also got a suspension seat which I've never seen before and it's also got a really really thick gel seat which I find so comfortable because my last bike was very difficult on the back, lower back, very hard when cycling, but this one's a brilliant little bike. Very pleased with it. The Thames, as you can see, is in hello. The Thames, as you can see, is in high flood. It's not rained for two or three days. But the fields further up, past Osney Lock, are full of uh, real water. So that's got to drain off. So it's going to take quite a few weeks for it to completely drain and for the river to drop, I feel. shortest day has just gone now so the days will start to get longer uh, which I'm really pleased about in actual fact I enjoy that more than Christmas to be honest the natural way of things a um, few houses over there a lot coming into a, a built-up section now and these these houses here must be worth an absolute fortune I suppose in the, at the time they were just cheap little houses, but nowadays very, very expensive next to rivers or canals. I've never been down here, so I don't really know where I'm going. But I remember coming up this section here uh, on my boat and didn't go through that, that bridge there but I went on the left which is very very difficult turn right when you go up the Thames and I didn't realise. But I do remember this section here coming up to this, this section here on my boat and it really was quite difficult because the Thames was in flood at the time. Just come onto the main road now. I'm just thinking to myself, where do I go now then? Oh, I'll go straight on. There's a nice little house there with a chair sat outside. The chair was a bit uh, worse for wear, to be honest. This is a nice little section here. Really quite a pleasant little place. Imagine the summertime, it'd be fantastic to sit around there, have a cup of tea or whatever your beverage you fancy just about to cross this road here now go back onto the Thames again
go back onto the Thames again. On the left hand side here, I think it's, uh, I think it's a restaurant or a boat hire place where you go out on trips, day trips. I think it's day trips. But that's this is the section here which, conf which confused me on the way up on my boat because the left there's two sides to go up the Thames there. The left hand side goes onto a, a thin bridge, a low bridge. And the right hand side is a bit wider so naturally you take the wider side because you've only got a short time to choose. In hindsight I should have taken the left hand section because the right hand section you have to turn right at the end into flow of river which is very difficult. Anyway come to this section here, There's some nice little boats down here. There are a lot of narrow boats on this section here. But they are still are prone to flooding. It's a nice old boat there, look. There's one boat here that's completely empty and gutted. It's a shame. There are some really, really cracking little boats down here. But there are also some very rough ones as well. But each to their own. Like a seafaring boat there. I think those boats there on the on the Norfolk Broad. I think those wide little wide beams, plastic boats. That's a nice little green boat that one. And the, the river starts to get a bit wider down here. As you can see there, it's flooded. The whole field is flooded. That's not a lake. That's where the uh, Thames has flooded into. I think it's a football pitch or something. There's quite a few rowing clubs there's a tatty old boat there and that boat there I think it's been left empty for quite a long time as you can see there's a, quite a few rowing clubs on the Thames and you do get the occasional rower coming past it's a nice colourful boat Huge thing, beautiful condition. GRP boat there, look. My very first Good morning. boat was a GRP. Morning. morning, GRP, 25 foot Matilda. Brought it back from Stoke on Trent. That's when I fell in love with the canals. It's a big boat, this one, about 70 foot, I think it is. shapes and sizes lot all completely different that's why I love the narrow boats because not one of them's the same morning morning they've all got their own builders mark on them and their design There's a bridge here not to go over it's a beautiful um, rowing club here beautiful design with the uh, floating pontoons there. The boat by itself. Good God, who's that? Hello. The little GRP. This is the bike I was talking about. It's uh, good suspension. Very, very comfortable, good tyres, £25 absolute bargain with a rack, 18 speed. Almost coming to the end of the journey now. Well, I'm going to turn back. So it's um, thank you for watching. And it's a nice boat. Um, thank you for listening and watching. And watching my videos. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much.